To elaborate by what I meant by side projectors in the theater, very simple. I'll explain really quickly. So if you have an image, say, uh, in the desert, but there's green field of corn and it's growing up, then you have dry hills in the, you know, in the middle of the frame, somewhat beyond in the background, and then at the top you have the blueness of the sky. Then the lights down the sides of these sensor bars, right, either through probably direct integration, you know what I mean, like actually being plugged in so they know what's going on so we can just do it live. It's the only way to do it effectively. And for a theater or a home release, it's the only way to make it not have a lag of even a millisecond. Yeah. So the bars, there's just individual LEDs down it, you know, arranged and, and fogged perfectly that are real bright. And they project onto the sidewall. So the middle, because it's the hills, would be gold. The bottom would be green and the top would be blue. Now, like my brother was pointing out. Yeah, here's what I was saying about it. You have a, say, a farmhouse at the center of this whole scene that he came up with a second ago. And I said, this farmhouse, right, is the real center focus of attention as you say, sweep over a hill towards it. It's the emotional aspect that's driving the storytelling of the scene. So, because of that factor, automatically you need to take the color of whatever's being focused on, obviously, at the center of the image and whatever's moving or whatever has the most color, it needs to be bokeh out into these side projectors of color so that you get the mood, the ambient mood of what you're focusing on with the center of your eyes kind of enhancing the rest of the colors that are being projected so that it's taking over with the mood of what you really care about. That's key. What's, uh, what else is key to it, because you'll still fuck this up, and I call this fuck you pay me technology, is that he didn't fully explain. What he meant is that the actual within the frame, not outside of it, has to be blurry bokeh-ing into those colors so that it seamlessly blends the sides of your eyes. Because I know how you all you low-quality eye faggots work, and you can't see shit, so it would be best to do that effect so that they can actually see better and they're getting a better impression. This could be tested in an actual movie theater with a test film. And it would be proven that for their bitch ass eyes, they can see this better. Whereas I prefer 144 hertz, 200 frames a second about sample down from 2000 frames a second with a movie camera. I prefer 2000K. I prefer, you know, slow motion that goes from 2000 frames a second down to 60 frames a second or at least 200, whatever. That's how superior my vision is.